Boston University women's basketball returned to Case Gym Wednesday on American Sign Language Night to take on the Lafayette Leopards. Lafayette took a first half lead led by standout sophomore Natalie Kakowski. Kakowski gets a little elevator screen, looks to work on Nelson. Stops, pops, and gets it to go. Kakowski with seven points already. BU made a comeback in the third quarter as Peyton Houck collected eight of her team high 16 points. Coming in annual tradition at the roof. Houck gets her shot to go and the foul. Freshman Riley Childs collected a double-double with 14 points and 13 rebounds. Childs, three in the air, yes. Largest lead of the day. Spearman didn't even think about taking the three, but Childs will think about the jump shot. And that was a good thought because it goes in. Childs gives BU an 11 point lead. Lafayette had a chance to tie it at the end of regulation, but Childs did all she needed, getting her hands off a missed free throw to seal the victory. The Terriers moved to 10 and six in league play and 14 and 12 overall. They finished the season with a road game at Army before ending the regular season on March 6th against Loyola at the roof at Case Gymnasium. Our kids made some key stops when we needed to, especially that last rebound on the free throw. Um, but credit to Lafayette, they really took us to the wire. Um, but I'm proud of our kids, especially that third quarter, but uh, we got to score more than six points in a quarter to finish it out, especially on our home court. Um, I think we're playing really well. We're having a lot of strong practices. I think we can play better. I mean, we didn't start well. We didn't start well at all for us, and I think we can only get better, and I think these next two games are really important for us, and we want to get home court on first-round playoffs, so we'll see how it goes.